There's a disease! Bananas are dying! We've got to save the banana! Calm down, Trace. There are plenty of other appealing bananas. <laughs> Hey guys, Kara and Trace here, and you probably knew that bananas are a big deal. Latin America grows 70% of the world's banana industry, which makes $8.9 billion a year. That's a lot of money. That is a lot. Worldwide, humans have cultivated the banana for at least 15,000 years. They are a huge nutritional part of the human diet. Bananas are the most popular fruit in the United States, at around 26 pounds consumed per person per year. Here. That's a lot of bananas. We actually eat more bananas than we do apples and oranges combined, and worldwide banana consumption is amazingly high. In Rwanda and Uganda, for instance, it's 500 pounds per person. Only 15% of the bananas they grow actually get exported and the rest are sent to local markets. And now a banana fungus called Fusarium oxyporum, or Panama Disease Tropical Race 4, is attacking crops in the Middle East, Africa, and Asia and may have spread to Latin America too. Last time something like this happened, a different fungus wiped out a different strain of banana called the Gros Michel. So the industry replaced it with the, quote, lesser product called the Cavendish, which we still eat now. Yeah, most people never even notice the switch, so your parents or your grandparents may have eaten a completely different kind of banana than what we eat now. This banana fungus infects the soil, blocking the plant's ability to take in nutrients and creating spores, which then spread to other plants. It's completely resistant to all chemical attacks, and it can stick to your boots or your gloves, so it can be transported anywhere in the world. So if this disease spreads into Latin America, then the Cavendish will probably go extinct too, just like the Gros Michel, which is a huge huge deal. Yes, it is. The problem is over all that time we've cultivated the Cavendish banana to be a genetic wimp. To produce a high yield farm crop, the banana industry created a monoculture, which is basically a cloned product. So each banana is almost genetically identical. Monocultures contribute to the rise of pesticides and chemicals in many farming crops because if something can kill one, it can theoretically kill them all. According to a study published in Nature, the only way to fight Panama disease race four is a complete quarantine of the infected areas good farm hygiene, and destruction of the infected plants. When the fungus last hit in Latin America, banana growers abandoned 900,000 acres of plants just to protect the uninfected. That's a lot. Researchers say if Latin America becomes infected, then we can pretty much say goodbye to the Cavendish, which means pretty much saying goodbye to the banana as Americans know it because that's where 80% of the world's banana exports come from. Yes, but there is another way to fight the banana fungus diversity. Yay, diversity. Yay. Yay. Not every type of banana is susceptible, and most of the bananas worldwide aren't as vulnerable to its attack. And there are over 1,200 types of bananas in the world, believe it or not. So if the giant banana growers diversify their banana populations, they might be able to protect their profit. But the Cavendish? It would still be dead. Some researchers are trying to genetically engineer the remaining Gros Michel crop to be resistant to the new race four, but until they do, we might have to switch to another kind of fruit. Are you worried about bananas? Do you eat them? What's your favorite fruit? Watermelon. Mm, Correct yummy. answer. But that's just me. Some people like bananas, some people like anime or K-pop or television. Can you see where I'm going with this? If you're a fan of something, then you should check out Fandom Beat with Katie Wayne. Every week she talks and acts out her favorite pop culture thingamabobs, and she also wears costumes and talks about ponies. We cannot let our magic just go poof into mid-air. That would be stupid. We have to give our magic to you. Oh, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. You want to geek out with her? Subscribe to Fandom Beat. Thanks for watching D News, everybody. See you later.